So, you have known Buddha Bada Dunava, right? It's a very rare opportunity of the arising of the Buddha. You have already known that one. Okay, many other religions also say the same. Uh, many other religions, they also say the same. It's very rare, rare opportunity to be uh, one of the participants in their religion, something like that. Uh, here we have one special explanation. This one says, Sadama Savana. The one is Sadama Savana di Donovan. It's a very rare opportunity to listen to the Dhamma. So we have many different types of Dhamma talkers. There are some Dhamma talkers, they were following their own experiences. And when they take meditation also, they were explaining according to their own experiences. So they don't learn Buddha's teaching. So we can also understand another way, traditional teacher. <coughs> they get not only one tradition, their own tradition. And they have never learned Buddhist texts, properly and thoroughly. So that means it's a very rare opportunity to be able to listen to the truth Dharma taught by the Buddha. So we have one question in Sri Lanka. When Venerable Mahinda and his follower arrived at Sri Lanka, at the Lankan Devanambi Adisa, approached and asked him, Bandi, what about Buddhism in Sri Lanka? Is it family, family rooted? Strongly rooted in Sri Lanka. At that time, Venerable Mahinda talked to them. Now know it. When Sri Lankan people thumbs up all day, then they can teach for their own people, and they can learn, then they can also practice, they can take leadership. At the time, Buddhism in Sri Lanka will be firmly rooted. Yes, but like that, huh? So, <clears throat> we have many, many sources now. In the modern community, it's very easy to get formation, very easy to get the sources. Tibetaka, in our school time, we have to go to the library, but not online library. Right? So, in our school time, we have to go and buy in the bookshop, but not knowing one application enough for Tibetaka. So we have many, many things like that, right? So we can learn many different things, many different subjects. Mm -hmm. Okay, the main thing is, if we are going to propagate Buddha teaching, we must go and read all the Chinese It's more important. Sometimes, did the teacher say like this? Did the teacher say like that? Did the teacher say like that? If we follow the teacher, we have a headache. Just go and read original text. It's much better. From time to time, I also talk to local people, especially Myanmar people. Then when they want to ask them, have you ever read any Dhamma books? Then they may list out this Siaro, this Siaro, that Siaro, many, many Siaro's name. Then they may also list out many, many, many others name. Many, many magazines, words like many, many Dhamma magazines in Myanmar. Dhamma journals. They will list out many things like that. Then I also remind them with one simile. Let's say we have a very big tree, then trunk is it powerful, right? Branches are weaker. If we climb the trunk, it's very big, straight. If we go to the branches, not straight. Also, it's also risky, not very powerful enough. Okay, practically. You all have seen papaya tree, right? Right, Babuya tree, right? When I was a boy, little boy, I climbed up Babuya tree. It's a straight. It was sweet. It was sweet. But it didn't broke down. It's a straight. So similarly, in both conditions like that, if we have to go straight, trunk is a straight. Just go up, trunk. You cannot fall down. If you go to the branches, it can break anywhere. Yeah? We can fall down. So that means, I know, I know the condition in Singapore, right? 
you may have many different details, many different traditions. So when you can practically go and read Buddha's teaching, Nikaya, it's like a trunk. You cannot be, you cannot make any mistakes. Maybe some, maybe translation error, trans- 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 translation problem, maybe there will be. But anyway, there are many, many bhikkhus near, near. Right? You can also ask any bhikkhu. But how do we understand this one? How do you understand this one? How do you understand this one? So if somebody who can read Pali, much better. They will learn. Even, okay, everybody will confess their translation. For example, when it happened to Korea, Korean people also say, I don't believe Korean translation, especially about the Buddha. Similarly, we in Myanmar people, we have handed down very long generation. We have many different versions of translation. Sometimes we still have mistakes. Sometimes when we go and read original text, it's a bit different from Myanmar translation. So that's why we in Myanmar people rely on bilingual translation. Bilingual means one Pali was, one Nepali was. We have that kind of translation, right? So we believe that kind of more. If you are Myanmar translation, it is difficult to believe. The dimension is, now when we can study Buddha teaching, original texts like Nikaya Nikaya, Majima Nikaya, Sangha Nikaya, Agoda Nikaya, Kodaka Nikaya, we go and read original texts. We have one word, Sutta, you know the one? Sutta and Panya, two different things, right? If we say Sutta, Sutta means knowledgeable or general knowledge or anything. Whenever we talk about knowledgeable or knowledge, it means learning Dipitaka. And we have a lot of knowledge from Dipitaka. We can understand everything deeply. Also because of Prabhupada Dhamma, faster, easier. So that means if you have free time, trying to spend your time with learning, especially Dipitaka. For the life can go to Nikaya. If you just read one day a few suttas, enough. Only two or three suttas are enough, no problem. In one year, more than two thousand, more than two hundred, right? Three hundred, nearly three hundred. If you read more, it can be many, many suttas. Like for example, Majima Nikaya. One day one, one suttas is very long. Very possible to understand everything clearly. Angola Nikaya, mostly possible. Samuda Nikaya, possible. Well, very short discourses. Okay, so the main thing is, it's a very rare opportunity to be able to listen to the Dhamma, especially Sadhamma, Noble Dhamma. The Dhamma that make us noble. So that Dhamma will also mod- may motivate us to be noble. When we have that kind of opportunity to, to listen, we will have, when we have opportunity to listen to that kind of Dhamma talk, we can put ourselves fine. Right? That's why. Now, although you cannot listen, you can read many, many Dhamma books. Okay, so now, briefly, right? They say only short Avada, right? Short Avada means go to climb a trunk of the tree. Don't go to the branch of too much. If you go to the branches, it's risky. Not very smart. If you go, if you climb up the trunk, it will be difficult for you, but go straight, okay? So, may you all be able to learn and train and practice Buddha teaching, may you be able to attain the realizations of Nirvana as a result. Idame Bunya, Asawakaya, Ramhotu, Idame Bunya, Nibanasa, Rajayo, Otu, Mama Bunya Baga, Savasatana, Bajimi, Esabe, Esamang, Bunya Baga, Babantu, Sadu, Sadu, Sadu.